What are you doing? Oh, I'm watching the last news about the social issues. Globally, threats the development of some indigenous cultures and languages are increasing. It means that a large number of traditional cultures have been seriously damaged as a result of globalization and urbanization, which have eroded cultural life still, making cultural preservation more and more important. From a regional perspective, firstly, with the rapid economy and the social development, and the acceleration of the development process in ethnic minority areas, nearly half of Chinese 120 old ethnic minority languages are in decline, and dozens are on the verge of extinction. Secondly, Singapore's shopping culture is rapidly replacing the individual's sentiments towards a unique Asian culture. And the younger generation perception of consumer goods as identity labels and the pursuit of global trends rather than an autonomous culture could lead to a loss of identity. From a global perspective, first, under the influence of globalized modern life, traditional folklore, architecture, and language have changed. The ethnic minority youth have moved away from traditional culture, leading a leak of successors and accelerating the distinguishing of indigenous cultures. Secondly, McDonaldization. Western fast food plays a role that goes beyond the taste of the food eaten. Fast food consumption is a highly personalized experience derived from the Western idea of individualism which downplays the intergenerational ties on which many regional cultures are built. In this picture, you have thought that, in the 1960s, a surge in immigration to the United States sparked concern about native cultures. Also from this picture, you will find that, according to a survey by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, global linguistic diversity has been seriously undermined. Okay, let's move to the part two, causes. The main reason for the decline of native languages is that, with the development of economy and transportation, people in different regions are getting closer and closer, and only by using the same language can they communicate more smoothly. So, the frequency of using native languages is greatly reduced. On the other hand, using a common language reduces the cost of learning a new language. Let's see some data first. By 2022, 1.5 billion people will speak English, 300 million more than in 2019. Furthermore, many young people now believe that traditional clothing and traditional customs are no longer suitable for the modern society. And the society is increasingly encouraging young people to develop individuality and break conventions, which makes many young people worship foreign thoughts. In terms of business, Fast food is efficient, fast, and affordable. For example, the Starbucks not only sells coffee but also is the preferred place for shopping and rest, which greatly caters to the needs of people, especially young people. Foreign brands also provide a lot of business for businessmen who achieve win-win results by joining and cooperating, which makes the fast food industry grow rapidly. In addition, there are some unavoidable reasons, such as the natural disasters, time, and the urban expansion, which bring great challenges to the protection of uh, ancient buildings. Now let's move to the effects. Globalization as an inevitable trend and it's us with unprecedented opportunities and challenges. However, we must also face up to the negative side of it, which is the greatest threat to indigenous cultures and languages. First, the cultural homogenization of globalization has led to the marginalization of indigenous cultures. With globalization, cultures around the world have become somewhat similar. The uniqueness of indigenous cultures and traditional knowledges are at risk of being diluted. Secondly, linguistic diversity is suffering a huge impact from globalization. Languages is an important part of culture. However, the impact of globalization has put some indigenous languages at risk of disappearing. With the spread of global communications and commercial interactions, more and more people are choosing to use mainstream languages, while these indigenous languages are often marginalized and lose the opportunity to be passed on in society. As you can see from the chart, there are many places where languages are at risk of extinction. 
There are also economic implications, as it is well known that tourism has long been a keen driver of economic growth in countries around the world and that indigenous culture are often unique attractions for tourists. If globalization causes the scenery around the world to become the same, no one will be willing to travel everywhere, and tourism will lose unique appeal. It will cause a very serious economic loss. The chart below shows the economic revenue generated by tourism in 2019. All in all, if some traditional cultures are not preserved, it will affect our society in various aspects. What do you think of the last uh, news about social issues, and do you have some suggestions about that? Culture are gradually classifying, uh, like eating fast food, and have placed the principle their own country culture is gradually becoming less formal. You know, this cultural shame, and the Western culture is just amongst the world some social problems. Um, to solve these problems, so we can get suggestions from a um, perspective, uh, such as strengthening education and strengthening public city uh, effort to cultivate the awareness of production culture from an early age. Yes, of course. I can give you some figures. Hello guys, I'm your friend Lori, and today I will bring you guys more detailed advice. In the face of a gradual decline of folklore in various regions and a continuous elimination of representative and symbolic national traditional culture related to Arctic culture, some of the following methods can be considered to address and preserve these traditional cultures. First, we can through cultural education, traditional skills and craft through community activity, workshops and training courses. Second, utilizing modern technology, make use of modern technology such as digi digitalization and virtual reality to preserve and display elements of traditional culture for wider dissemination and sharing. Third, community participation and cooperation. Encourage community participation in cultural preservation by building up teams of volunteers to work together to preserve and pass on traditional culture. In the face of a global trend towards westernization of food and the perception of western food as a superior food, the following suggestions can be made to promote a more balanced approach to and appreciation of various food cultures. First, dietary education. Introduce comprehensive dietary education includes including the value of traditional food cultures and the importance of a balanced diet. Educate people to be conscious of diversity in their food choice instead of blatantly pursuing Western food. Second, promote local ingredients and cooking skills. Educate, encourage the use of local ingredients and promote traditional local cooking, cooking techniques in finding their uniqueness and healthy values. In the face of a global trend towards westernization of food and the perception of western food as a rural food, the following suggestions can be made to promote a more balanced approach to and appreciation of various food cultures. Dietary education. Introduce comprehensive dietary education including the value of traditional food cultures and the importance of balanced diet. Education educate people to be conscious of diversity in their food cho choices inside of blindly pursuing Western food. Second, promote local ingredients and cooking skills. Encourage the use of local ingredients and promote traditional local cook cooking techniques and finding their uniqueness and healthy value. At a national level, it's crucial to preserve and pass on diverse cultures and dialects of West countries. The following are some suggestions. Dialects, uh, education and promotion. Formula dialect education policy and encourage schools to uh, include the teaching of dialects in their curriculum so that students can better understand, use and pass on their dialects. Purchase dialects teaching materials, including digitized uh, resources for wider dissemination and promotion. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Sun Zhuo. We just talked about the introduction, causes, effects, and the suggestion. Now let's move to the conclusion part. In summary, the erosion of indigenous culture and languages around the world is a major problem, stemming primarily from modernization, globalization, 
and the culture shifted to dominant to dominant global languages and lifestyles. To preserve this culture, we need to work together in education, technology, community engagement, and a re, re, and a revaluation of traditional values. We must consider the broader impact of our global policies and actions on the erosion of indigenous culture and languages. We enjoy the convenience and unity of globalization, but at the same time, the uncertainty scarifies the rich diversity of cultural diversity. Protecting indigenous culture is not just about preserving linguistic diversity or traditional practices. It's about protecting human heritage and identity. This is not just a problem for indigenous, indigenous communities or specific regions. It reflects a global trend where local identity is often overshadowed by global humanity. From local businesses to unique, to unique ecosystem, they all face the same loss of diversity and identities. We must integrate culture pre preservation into the education system, using technology to preserve culture encourage community participation in cultural activities and promote terrorism and uh, respect and uh, nurture local culture. As global citizens, each of us has a responsibility to re recognize and pro protect cultural diversity. If we do not act, we will face a future of less diversity and less culture. Let's not be the generation that disintegrates human culture. Instead, Let's be the ones to wave the new line and strengthen our global heritage. Okay, thanks for your patience and listening. See you next time.